Hey guys, what's up? Amy Pijan here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Sorry, that was not a graceful intro as I scratch my nose. My face is itchy. It's allergy season, y'all, okay? It's no joke. It's also coronavirus season and flu season and we never know what we have, but... Anyways, I'm back here creating content for you as a result because I don't know what else to do with my time these days. But it's all good, you know, when life gives you lemons make freaking makeup tutorials. So anyways, today I'm gonna show you how to do this smoky, this sultry, smoky, glittery, hearty eye, which we will all be doing in spades when this crap is over with self-isolation and quarantine. I'm testing out a few new products I was sent by Esquito to review. These are their gel liners, which I use to do a smoky liner, use as a black base for my smoky um, eyeshadow, and then I use it in the waterline. Very impressed with these products. You'll see how they work and how I use them in the tutorial. And yeah, if you like this video, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know um, what you'd like to see from me in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please, Keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so I have to apologize if my skin is looking crusty at all right now. I can't really see what it looks like from here. Um, I started using my retinol products again and my face is peeling like a mofo. So apologies in advance. I only noticed it after I got my makeup on when I was like, does that look flaky? And I was like, oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah, she does. Too late now. Anyways, um, so I've done my face makeup. So we are going to go in, how are we gonna start this? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go in with the black uh, Esquito Gel Liner right here. It's gonna focus. Let's see, this is my first time filming with this new camera. Oh shit. She's not gonna focus. Yeah. Guys, what's so great about this camera is that it tracks my face and keeps it in focus no matter where I am, but it doesn't do a very good job with products apparently. Oh, there we go. That worked. Okay, cool. We have the pencil brush right here. So I'm gonna start by putting this in the outer V of my eye. My eyelids are primed already. Whoops, I got too much powder there. We're just gonna put it on in a V-shape like this. And then with that pencil brush, buff out those edges. Oh wow, this blends pretty nicely. Um, some gel liners that come in a pot, I find are too creamy that they blend all over the place as opposed to where you just place them. Whereas this is like staying where I put it, but it's still the edge is softening, which I like quite a bit. So that's a perk. Also guys, I've, oh shit, did I just dip my hand in it? No, the cap is on it. Woo! I um, swatched these on my hand and I, um, I tried rubbing them off. They did not move. And I just washed my hands and they held up pretty well through the hand washing. So they are relatively waterproof. They held up a lot better with the smudging. They didn't budge. With the hand washing, they still came off a little bit. But just so you know, I suspect these will be a very good waterline gel liner, given they held up on my hand pretty decently. And I'm also gonna buff out the inside bit of this. I focus more on the crease because that's the part we care about having the nicest blend, I find. So I'm just gonna do that on the other eye. And I'm really digging on in there with this pencil brush. I suppose you could use a fluffier brush, but I like something a little bit stiffer when I'm blending a pencil because I find pencils can be a little bit harder to blend out. So if you use something too soft, it won't like push the product if that makes any sense at all. Oh wow, this eye's turning out way better than the other one, of course. And my left side's my good side. God damn. Blend out that inner bit. Oh no, my eyes are watering and I'm blending it all into this. This is not good. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and do a little bit of a transition shade. This is a big fluffy brush from Sephora and I'm going to use, we're gonna make this like a nice warm shimmery bronze. Like I'm gonna use this nice peachy shade from Makeup Forever right here. And we're just gonna put that all into the face. Blend it out. Just going in windshield wiper motions and then circular motions up towards the brow where we want it the most soft and diffused. 
Uh, now I'm gonna go in with my MAC 217 brush and this um, slightly darker Makeup Forever, nice warm brown shade right here. And we're really gonna try and focus on softening those edges where we need to blend that black base a little bit more. There we go, that's starting to look a little bit softer. And I'm actually gonna go in now with the brown Esquito uh, gel liner pencil. And that same pencil brush that we used the, um, the black on. We're gonna use the brown Esquito gel pencil and we're gonna pop that underneath our lower lash line on the outer third, kind of tapering it inwards a little bit. And we're gonna buff that guy out to smoke out the lower lash line and create a nice sticky creamy base for our shadows to adhere to. I like to use circular motions to buff this out too. Okay, so I'm finding that the brown one doesn't blend quite as well as the black. It's a little bit less creamy, but that's okay because normally we like brown, or sorry, black creamy bases as opposed to brown ones. Oh wait, there we go, it's starting to go. Okay, okay, bam. Alrighty, now I am going to go back in with that MAC 217 brush and I'm going to, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go in with this cool tone brown right here. Is this in focus? I think it is. <laughs> I don't know what these shades are called because they all have numbers and I can't be bothered to pull them out of the pan, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, sorry, I'm not much help there. Anyways, I'm gonna pop that into the very outer corner of the crease and under the lower lash line, just on top of where we put that pencil. And then to bring some warmth into the lower lash line, I know some of you are probably gonna cringe, but I'm gonna go in with this huge fluffy brush and that warm Makeup Forever shade again. And we're just gonna buff that in just on top of the dark cool brown that we put for definition. But it brings a little bit of warmth and makes the eyes look a little bit bluer, if you see what I'm saying. Um, okay, now we're gonna build in some black. So I'm gonna go in with that same 217 brush and just add that right into the outer V here. Now I'm gonna go back in with that black gel liner. I'm gonna add a little bit of it to the outer third of my lid where my eyeliner would normally go. Just like that. And I'm gonna smudge that out using an angled brush because so we're gonna do a nice smoky liner look. This smudges so nicely, the black. I'm very impressed with it. Actually, and while we're at it, I'm gonna pop this into my waterline just so I don't have to keep going back and forth between the same products. Man, that is a very black liner. I'm super impressed with this one. Using this guy right here, I'm gonna use this beautiful bronzy shade from Makeup Forever and we are gonna push that all onto the lids. Using a brush like this, I am going to go in with my Stila Magnificent Metals Comics Copper foiled shadow here, which I adore. And we are gonna press that onto the center and inner third of the lid. Just to give it a real kind of chunky, glittery look that I adore which is also really great with this kind of a smoked out lash line because it's hard to get a nice crisp liner with this chunky glitter or foil, whatever you want to call it. It is more foil than glitter. 
So I'm doing a mixture of like patting and swiping to kind of spread it out. Okay, now using a clean fluffy brush, if I can find one. I'm going to just clean up under the eyes a little bit here in case we have any fallout. And I'm just going in, this is such a weird trick that I'm using because I don't have any like concealer powders right now. I just added a little bit of white eyeshadow under the eyes mixed with a little bit of that peach that was in our transition shade. So it doesn't look pure white but to cover up a little bit of this darkness going on in here. Cause my concealer did not take very well today with my stupid healing retinol skin. Now we're gonna put on some mascara. I am using the Tardis Pro Mascara. You can use any mascara that you, is it called Pro? No, just Tardis. You can use any mascara that you want cause we're gonna plop on some very dramatic lashes. So it doesn't really matter how good your real lashes look I find. Now I'm going in with my New Bounce and Falsies in the style uh, Bella. They are so dramatic. I normally end up having to cut quite a few of them, a few bundles off to make them fit my eyes and not just like overwhelm my eye shape. But they are very, very, very pretty. And I am going to use my House of Lashes glue to put these on. This is my favorite glue ever. This is what the lashes look like, by the way. They're like super fluffy and full and dramatic. And while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to put on two coats of mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna use the, the, uh, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. It is my holy grail mascara for my lower lashes. I need to get really close to a mirror to see what the hell I'm doing here. How am I gonna do this so you guys can see what I'm doing? I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> I normally like to put my upper lashes on before I do this so I can get in and squish the upper lashes on if I need to without worrying about ruining my lower lash mascara, but I don't feel like waiting right now. And then I'm going to go and drop these lashes on, grabbing from the center of the lash coming above. Bam. Look at that difference. <laughs> and that, you guys, is the completed look. Well, that's it for today, you guys. So I really hope you like this smoky, uh, glittery, dramatic evening party eye that I did for you guys featuring the Esquito Gel Liners. Wonderful eyeliners, I highly recommend them. If you haven't subscribed already, it would mean the world to me, so please click that subscribe button. Let me know what future tutorials you'd like to see in the comment box below. Give the video a big thumbs up and stay safe out there. Stay home, create, create, Create. That is the biggest advice I can give to you during times like this right now. Um, to stay staying sane, uh, to stay sane and happy um, and healthy. Until next time, take care, you guys. Bye.